Hi, I'm Joel, and welcome to my Halloween special. <laughs> For this project, you'll need the following supplies. Feel free to pause it at any point. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my paper towel and toilet paper rolls and form them into miniature figures. First, we're going to cut the body between 3 and 7 inches and the arms between 4 and 6 inches. Slice the arm in half to reduce the diameter and cut slots in the body to slide the arms through. Here, I'm going to use balloons for the head of the ghost, but you could also use Christmas ornaments or ping pong balls, whatever you have around the house. Now, I tape the heads to the body and cover the whole thing in saran wrap because this project is going to get messy. Next, I'm going to cut the cheesecloth to size, leaving it long enough to form the base it stands on and wide enough so I have three layers thick. All right, so now I've got all my cheesecloth cut the length here. Now we're ready for the fun part. I used a stick, but when mixing plaster of Paris, it's best to use a drill with a mud mixing bit. Now the consistency should be that of thick soup. So now we're going to dip our cheesecloth in the plaster, get an even coating, and wring out the excess. Next, we're going to drape it over our figure and shape it. You have to move swiftly because it dries very fast. It will help having several batches of plaster versus one big one that could dry up and go bad. Now, all we have to do is let them set up and dry for a little while. Then we can remove our figures cut our eyes and faces out of black cardstock paper, and use a hot glue gun to paste them on. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Or else. <laughs>